Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video and today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to unlock the power of lens flares in Photoshop. Now here's an image that I had uh, clicked and edited a couple days ago uh, and of course uh, I really wanted to add uh, some sort of a lens flare just to try to give it a sunset sort of look, a warmer look and a little bit of light falling onto the car. Now this was an initial edit, I've done a couple of edits of this photograph, uh, and one of them was this one which included the lens flare. Now of course another difference you can see is that I did leave the power lines in on this photograph uh, as compared to this one because I wanted to have a little bit more of a natural look with that sunset uh, and just blow out the power pole uh, over here just a little bit. Uh, I think it gives it a nice look and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, not how to do this entire edit but how to truly unlock the power and the potential of using lens flares in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a photograph as a test file uh, that we can use. Um, so there's a couple of photographs here. There's uh, some, or there's there's probably one in here uh, that I have my eye on, and I'm forgetting which one it was. But there's quite a few uh, that we can actually use that would work just fine, uh, just because of the way that these photographs uh, were actually taken. So uh, I'm just going to scroll down here. Uh, and I think I probably should have done this earlier but I think that this is probably a good one because we have a little bit of light in the background and of course we can just make that look uh, like a proper sunset and of course I've got some shadows here so that's probably uh, going to add to the photograph I'm sure that any one of these would work uh, very well but I'm just going to start with this uh, and I'm just going to uh, drag it here into Photoshop. Now I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS6 and this is the extended version but of course I think this uh, most likely should work on anything CS4 and above, uh, probably CS3 as well. Uh, it's probably just ever so slightly different but most likely shouldn't be. Uh, now first off what I'm going to show you guys is how to initiate a lens flare. Now to do that you go to filter, render and lens flare and this is just the normal way of doing it and then of course you get this little box and uh, you can move around where the flare is uh, I normally have it somewhere here uh, just basically where you want the flare uh, is is where you actually have some sort of sunlight coming in uh, so this was of course uh, that's where I would have it and you hit OK and that's how the flare comes out of there you have this light burst basically and you see uh, these little uh, imperfections essentially is what it is um, refraction of light from your lens uh, but this is just artificially created but a problem with this is that you cannot edit this flare at all because it's actually locked to the layer now what you're going to do uh, is of course I'm just going to get rid of that here and I'm going to show you guys how to get a lens flare onto your photograph and be able to edit it including the opacity transform it uh, do basically a bunch of other edits get it brighter darker um, burns etc now to do this what you're going to first have to do is come over to filter render and hit lens flare and of course you're gonna you're gonna place it where you want the lens flare and I think that that position was okay and you hit okay uh, and after that you're gonna hit command Z or control Z if you're on the PC uh, and I know that this seems a little bit counterproductive but follow along and you'll understand why uh, and after that what you're going to do is create a new layer uh, and this is going to be a color layer so you're going to go solid color and of course you're going to want it to be black which is uh, in the color space spectrum it's just all zeros and you hit OK. Now once you have this layer you're going to come over to filter and you're not going to come down to render and lens flare but you're going to hit lens flare right up here because basically this is going to put it in exactly the same place that it was before. Now as you guys can see this is right here. Now what this will allow you to do having this on a different layer uh, is going to be able to, what you can do is use a blending mode that's just going to wipe out all of the black. Uh, so we're going to come to normal here and just come down to screen and now as you guys can see the lens flare is exactly the same position where you left it but you can change the opacity of the lens flare uh, if you want you can hit command T and you can actually move this around of course make it bigger or smaller uh, do really whatever you want to it um, now one of the things that I really like to do when I'm editing these photos is I think that this right here looks a little bit too fake so what you can do is actually uh, select these very sharp flares uh, and come over to filter uh, and blur and of course go to Gaussian blur uh, and of course just blur them out a little bit to the point where it starts to look a lot more believable so I have it to 9.7 pixels here and I think that looks about right so I'm gonna do that over here as well 
and just repeat that by hitting command F uh, and that's basically it now this is how you can really take advantage of lens flares they're a very powerful tool if you're trying to make like a really nice soft light burst uh, sort of effect in any of your photographs and I think that this is a really nice way to do it of course now if I take this off you guys can see this really does add like a nice sense of character to this photograph where the car is uh, moving away from the light and into the shadows into the darkness now composition is very important and I think that this is a very very interesting technique that you can use to take your photography and your editing skills to the next level. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed these style of tutorials, please do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and of course, uh, do remember to subscribe for more videos. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.